Hello everyone, and I just completed the first rough in. Oh, sorry, this is your boy, Rude Boy. And today I'm doing a showing you an example of the snake game that's so popular on YouTube. And again, this is basic programming stuff basic programming knowledge once you know um, how to create and use your methods your functions uh, know how to fill in a 2d array it's not difficult there are tons of online tutorials on that and just basically tracking stuff as you can see here by these variables initialize and tracking stuff um, and then getting your directions in I'm not going to use the, the keyboard hit function right now because I am stepping through the program it's just easier if you step through the program to troubleshoot it rather than have it uh, on a continuous loop you'll miss things very easily um okay so this is the program I'm just going to show you. you can copy it down a lot of it i didn't have to use once i you know refine the program a little bit i found that i didn't have to use all of this stuff here which is cool that's how programming goes and um, you can just copy it down it will work and i'll show you to what point it will work this is just the first rough in it's not complete but it'll show you the, the basic game okay that's it compile and run as you can see it's pausing you'll see a bunch of numbers pop up below that those numbers just help me to better understand what's going on in the program and to make sure that things are going the way it should go and keeping track of um, variables positions coordinates what have you all right now you go pick the fruit here and then that tail appears and the tail basically follows the head let's do some of it because I want to I'm just stepping through the program it's not in a uh, asynchronous loop which is independent of any input from you so the program can keep running uh, to get the tail to move behind the head like that took me days again I'm new to this programming thing I knew C from a long time ago but I didn't really that college C didn't really get me Oh, and there it, it ended. It ended. Oh, once I ran into the wall, it ended. But these values beneath here are me keeping track. You have to keep track of every single one of these. And then you have to update its position every time it moves. One increment. You have to update its pos uh, position. There's a. Uh, the method for doing that is this void move tail. And this is how I keep track of the tail segments in this array. It's a one dimensional array, one for the X coordinate, one for the Y coordinate. You have to keep track of those. Uh, and you have to know where the head is. So the head and the tail are programmed in different methods the head moves 
and this the head of the snake moves this is the program which sets up the direction of the head no I'm sorry uh, okay yep yep that's correct that sets up the direction of the head when you collide with the fruit you also have to know you have to be you have to know uh, the position of that fruit too as well this will tell you the position of the fruit and once you make contact with the fruit which I call X Oh, sorry, no, that's okay. And this is where you, the X is placed. This is how the fruit is placed here at random, some random position generated by this X and Y rand time uh, um, random generator. I can tell you, this alone took me for. Ever. It took me a couple of days to figure this out. It's on the internet, but I really refuse to look at someone else's solution. It's better for my own learning that I figure these things out by myself. Like I said, it's basic coding. Once you're good at basic coding, you should be able to figure this stuff out. Um, I wanted to show you something else. Okay, let's do, go through this again. There's the head. The head is moving. Remember, the head moves independent of the tail, but you need to know the position of the head so that you can start, so that you can move the tail. Because the position of the head has to become the first, the, the position of the first plus sign. Like you see there. Okay, I'm going to eat the fruit. One, two, three, four. Eat. There is no plus sign. If you want to see the plus sign added as soon as you eat the fruit, then you need. I need to synchronize my print function better. I may have to include it more than one time. But it's in there. But it's in the array. But it's just not synchronized to be shown as soon as I eat the fruit um, again synchronizing your functions is very important you see there as the plus the tail the third ta tail segment was not added until about two clicks two steps okay let's see again here eat no tail segment yet that's step one step two no tail segment yet but the, the fruit appeared and that's just me having to synchronize my print function better I'll have to do it more than once after uh, the eat function when I eat make contact with the fruit now it should appear on the third step there it is on the third step so that's just synchronizing my function that has nothing to do with the code I speak of always speak about synchronizing your function to get the feel that's also very important the look and feel that you want in your game just stepping through it's not in a loop because it's easier for me to see things when I step through them all right now down here you see all these numbers that's the the X position and the Y position of the tail segments 
you have to keep record you have to keep it record of all the tail segments keep record of all of them and you have to constantly update all your tail segments you have to move them along this one will become here we come to this position this position will come to this position this position will come to this position this I'm sorry I should say this coordinate would come to this coordinate this position this coordinate would come to this position this coordinate would come to this position this coordinate would come to this position that's how you move the snake like this in a train manner and when you make a turn the tail head makes a turn the tail makes a turn I don't have a score in there. I just got done with it. Alright, that's it. Almost like crash into the wall. I'm not doing crashing into tail yet. I didn't do that yet. When I crash into the wall, game's over. Alright, thank you for watching. And have fun coding. Oops. Oops. Oops.